Hey everyone, I'm Mike, K8MRD. I uh, just put together a little go box for my HTs. I'm gonna show you a little walkthrough. So here in my shack, there is the box. Just got it from Harbor Freight. <clears throat> it's like $22 or something like that. You always gotta use your 20% off coupons and get, uh, get, get a free tape measure or something like that. So uh, yeah, it's the Apache 2800, as you can clearly see. Neat box, just like a Pelican, but uh, they fraction of the price. They're really neat. So it took me probably I don't know an hour and a half to figure out where I wanted to put everything and get all the all the stuff peeled out of it. So without any further uh, delays, we shall get into the box. All right, here we go. I ended up uh, managing to fit a lot more stuff in here than I was even planning on. So that's what she looks like. All uh, all bow fangs. I love my cheap Chinese radio. So first of all, you gotta have your uh, notepad. This is one of the right in the rain things I just picked up from uh, an Army Navy store the other day. It's got this kind of waterproof paper, so you can write in the rain. We got uh, a little mechanical pencil for it. You can't use like regular gel pens and such, which I like to use. So just opted for the pencil. This is a magnet flash mount, or yeah, a magnet mounted flashlight that my dad got me and uh, just realized it actually can fit or clip right there. So you can, uh, if it's dark out, you got light. So that's pretty neat. So in here, I just wedged out a little slice here and this is a Nagoya, what do we got here? The 771R. This is the retractable one. I really like this. It had a couple bad reviews online, but uh, if you actually get it from Bofang Tech, uh, it's pretty decent. It hasn't fallen apart like some other uh, reviews have said. So we got uh, let's see, a bunch of antennas. This is a this is a uh, connector SO239 to uh, SMA female to connect from the Bofang to uh, an external antenna. I got a J pole I'll show you here in a few minutes. Then we got the hand mic. Something just fell out, another antenna fell out, so that's all crammed in there. Let's grab this guy. This is a shorter whip. Uh, this is the Nagoya 701, just a little, you know, same size as this thing that came with the Bofang. Oops. So those are crammed in there. I think that's all I got down there, yep. And then in this little compartment, I've got uh, I got a bunch of connectors, so I thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, if someone was out, had a radio that didn't connect uh, to my type of antennas, this one will actually screw into uh, the top of the bow fangs here. It's the male SMA. I can do it one-handed. This one here is the actual male adapter thing, so if someone has a different radio, like something that's not Chinese, you can plug it in there and then I've got a couple adapters here just a little 90 degree for this if I want to get a little relief or something oops this is a little female to female so someone with a male antenna can can plug in here and then I've got a male adapter as well so those are all in there neat and tidy Und Zen. Uh, I was trying to figure out a way to do the batteries, so I got a couple of these bigger batteries. Managed to cram a, got three of them in here. Sorry for the terrible video. So three of these guys. I'm sure some are real, some are fake. This one actually came with the uh, this right one. This that's the GT3TP that I'll show you here in a second. And then down at the bottom, I've got the cigarette lighter adapter thing so you can plug it into the base there if you're on the go we got our chargers in here I got two of them I'm not gonna take them out because it took me forever to <laughs> get them in there just right and then I've got the base for your regular UV 5 R's and then this is the base for the GT3 TP they had to make them different of course uh, Back here, I threw another antenna. I've 
got the, uh, this is just the, the Nagoya 771, non-retractable, obviously. It just folds in there nicely. Put this back up. And then the radios, I just keep buying them because they're so darn cheap. Uh, this is the UV5R TP. It's a tri-power. It takes like 1, 4, and 8. I think it actually pushes about 6.5 or 7. Um, got the bigger battery on there that actually belongs to, I believe, this radio, which is the BF F8 HP, the other 8 watt radio they got. They're, they're nice though, I get decent signal reports. This is the first ham radio I ever got. This is the, just the UV5R V2 Plus. And then this one is the very second radio I bought. The GT3 TP, another 8 water. Um, one of these I actually had put on a really expensive bench machine. I feel it was this one, and it was actually pushing on about 6.9 watts. So you get a little bit extra with the the 8 watt Bofangs, but it, it's it's not a true 8 watts. Um, and then lastly, we have I can't fit this in the case, but this is my roll up uh, J pole. This black stuff is the 450 ohm ladder line, about five feet or so. That's not exact. And then just hooked up to, I think, about 20 feet of, this is RG8X um, with a crimp connector because I can't solder, so I bought a crimper. And they work way better than the solder stuff, especially when you're doing big, like, RG213 stuff. You just, it's impossible for me to solder that stuff. So that's, uh... That's the Bofang box. Thanks for watching. 7-3.